What's up, man? What's up, man? What are we doing? Well, we're gonna change people's lives. All well, my life, and it's gonna. Be, it's been what three years since this moment. I kind of feel like it's been decades since decades. Yeah, uh, you know, us older people want to do it right the first time. You know, and I just slap parts inside together and just make it work. Jimmy Regan. How long has it been since we? Uh, like the beginning of COVID. Yeah. So I've been encouraging this guy for the longest time to start working on his Evo. And he's been collecting all these parts for many, I say many years. Yo, many years. Stay tuned to that because we have all these special parts that we need to install to get this car going. So you guys probably was wondering where I have been. I've been super busy. I know it's been a little while since I ever picked up the camera and vlog, but I am back again. First video of this year of 2023. I hope everyone else had a great year of 2022. And I pray that 2023 will be the greatest year of all for you guys. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So we are going to be working on my friend's Landon's Evo 9 MR. This is the car, how it looks like. We are installing a lot of mod parts onto his car. So basically everything inside this box is what we're going to install. So he does have FP manifold, some gaskets that we're going to be using. All these parts in the box are like the AM Y band, open dumb, fuel rail, injectors, grim speed, boost controller. We got some blow up valve. What else do we have? Kingling racing oil pressure regulator. We also got some titanium hardware that I'm going to go ahead and install from JD Custom. He used my discount, so I'll go ahead and put that in the description box. Save you 10% off. We got the Omi 4 bar map. And there's a lot of parts that we are going to be installing into his car. We're pretty much going to try our best to install everything as much as we can. I think about at least 70%. I want to kind of get everything taken care of. I'm excited. Let's go ahead. I think I'm going to go ahead and tackle the fuel system first. So it will be the injectors, fuel rail, change the Omi 4 bar. And then we can move on to the fuel pump. And then we can start going through more things.
we got the injectors with the adapter plugged in with the AM fuel rail. Only four bar sensors is installed. 255 watt bro is in the tank now. Of course, that we, we didn't have a new strainer, so I went to go ahead and reuse the strainer off from the old fuel pump, which is not too bad. I ended up cleaning that little sucker bracket over here because it's full of dirt. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean this area as much as possible. So now the fun part begins. We are gonna go ahead and tackle the whole turbo setup over here. So make it life easier. We are gonna go ahead and just drain the coolant, remove the radiator, some intercooler piping. So that way it's a lot easier to go ahead and just kind of put do everything one time. I sprayed penetrating oil for like hours, let it sit. I just kept spraying on top. Last thing I really want to worry about is the nut breaking off from the studs. socket and torch it's your best friend right there getting that guy out I hope you're enjoying this landing. Cause your car is this freaking rust bucket.
so here's the progress right here so we took all the exhaust manifold turbo everything out out of the car took a little bit longer the hardware is being all rusted it's gonna take a little while sometimes they just get stuck sometimes they just snap off so good thing i went down to my cousin's shop and borrowed his torch and his extractor socket that really helped me right on here because this was the last night that was holding me back everything else i just kind of took my time just want to make sure that nothing else breaks so now the only problem is that if we're gonna throw these open them we don't have the donut gasket so the tome o2 housing that was on the turbo comes with a flat gasket so i need to kind of figure out what i'm gonna have to do see if any auto store has it in stock if not we will have to order a new one off from the website maybe sdm tune overnight shipping and we're gonna have to wait but at least we got pretty much everything out what i want to do now is that i wanted to go ahead and remove all these studs clean put in the new titanium hardware on top and also on top on the turbo side of the o2 housing at least we can get that taken care of. I am, I am going to go ahead and get that all cleaned up. And then we can just worry about that broken stud. See if we can try get it out as much as possible. And kind of see from there. So I just came back from AutoZone. We had to go get a donut gasket. We looked through the boxes that I never had. So thankfully that AutoZone had it in stock. So we are good to go from there. So we have all these parts that we need to install on the car. So we got the titanium hardware right here that we need to install on the turbo. We have the exhaust manifold gasket. We have the gasket to the turbo blow valve. We have the turbo smart wastegate, AEM Y band. We do have the grim speed boost controller fp manifold we already got the titanium hardware on top so that is really good kind of did my best to kind of clean the oil off from in front of the engine of course and also from underneath and then pretty much install everything back on top of the car whatever we took out it's gonna go back on tonight
you know what guys i'm not gonna rush this putting everything back together because i have a gut feeling that if i am gonna rush this job something is gonna give and i don't feel like wasting more time of trying to fix things already so this is what's going on as i'm trying to go ahead and put this manifold back on you guys saw me i try to thread this stud to to the turbo but it was kind of giving me a little bit of a hard time this thread over here is pretty damn bad and i kind of don't want to leave this on too because i really want to just kind of do it right in the first time so what i'm gonna end up gonna do is i'm gonna just take this whole turbo kit to my shop and hopefully we can get this guy out replace this and maybe just take that out too just kind of clean the threads all around and then we can go ahead and just throw these titanium hardwares on the turbo that way we don't come across with this kind of issue i'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of clean everything up cover things up and just let the car sit like this for now i know that we installed some parts that was really successful other than i would have to remove the fuel pump for the third time because i did end up finding the strainer so it is what it is that happens there was a lot of parts that was in the box so I, I guess i didn't really look good enough i'm gonna have to go ahead and take that out later on and redo that again like i said i don't want to rush this job i really want this to go as smooth as possible are interested in picking up any parts that i installed or shown on the video i'll have it linked down in the description box below i do have a discount code of jd custom products jb built will save you 10 percent off hope you guys enjoyed the video hello i'll see you guys in the next one